welcome to ecoholics uh, this is a special session for your answer writing practice uh, there are few points that I was actually noticing in your answer writing and the important thing to remember while writing answers so I have come across a lot of answers there are a lot of mistakes and the scope of improvement so I just wanted to share that few important points whenever you are writing answers are related to the answer writing practice as well as in your examination. Uh, so we'll see one by one all the points starting with the first point that is how to write introduction. Now the introduction is an important part because whenever a, we can say examiner is checking your copies first of all come across with your introduction. So it should be indicative in nature do not uh, copy the same thing which is mentioned in the question so try to give the idea to the examination that you have understood the question and this is the main purpose of the introduction that you understood the question and that message must be uh, sent to the examiner and one more thing that it should be in 12 to 14 words or one or two line if the answer is related to 200 words it means only 10 percent of your word limit should be consumed by the introduction Now the second point is whenever you are writing answers it must be provided proper evidences and facts and figures the most reputed facts and figures must be used in the examinations so whenever you are writing answers whenever you are saying something it should be backed by certain evidences facts figures so so that it will give authenticity to your argument and whenever you are writing any argument it should be we can say relatable to the real world so it should not be vague it should not be like this uh, like not implementable in the real world so be careful uh, about these kind of things so uh, the crux is whenever you are writing answers or saying anything any opinion it should be backed by certain evidences facts and figures The next important advice is whenever you are writing answer it should be like an aircraft so like for example aircraft is actually taking off so takeoff should be very fast because whenever a air, an aircraft is taking we can say taking to the air then it should be like a fast very fast on its runway so introduction should be like you are doing or you are flying an aircraft so that is the main important thing then then the aircraft will be like cruising in the sky so that should be like your body and landing must be smooth so that is the conclusion part so it should be always like whenever you're writing answer it should be like quick start of your answers then in between you write a lot of things facts and figures and the smooth landing like the conclusion Now this is the most important thing that do not ever try to teach the examiner. Never consider the examiner is a fool. So do not try to explain each and everything. It should be understood that examiner is well aware about the facts and figures. If you are writing the small uh, things like for example International Monetary Fund. So no need to write the full form. IMF is a popular word like WTO is a popular word, World Trade Organization like Niti Organization, Niti IO that you can write. So do not ever try to teach the examiner that if you are mentioning something it means he must be aware about that. So never try to do, do that because it will uh, result in extra use of your word limit. So that is not permissible. Always keep in mind like the social interest of the society, the human aspect of that particular scheme, anything, any result you are writing and at most the national interest is the most important thing. So whenever they are asking and whenever in the answer there is a conflict between human interest and the national interest, you should always choose the national interest because national interest is, is an important uh, aspect whenever you are writing answers especially because you are uh, going to take a job in the government sector and that too to run a country. So that is national interest is obviously well above the human and social interest but whenever you are giving suggestions solutions in the answer keep in mind these three things first one human aspect social aspect and the national interest
Now in answer writing whenever they are asking about your opinion so do not try to give your own personal opinion try to give whatever 90% of the population are giving it means that is why newspaper reading plays an important role here so try to give the important arguments important opinions about the any particular uh, issues that they are asking but try to give the opinions well thought and as well as try to give opinions which are most reputed most accepted so try not to give your personal opinion but try to give what 90 percent of the population are having that particular thing now upsc always praises originality of thought here originality of thought it means whenever you are writing answer it must be like originating from your own innovations if you are writing different points you will able to fetch uh, highest number of marks in this examination because whenever you're writing answers try to think in the bullet points but you're writing in paragraph like for example if they ask discuss on this 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 thing so you cannot write in bullet points because the demand of the question is very different the most important thing here is you write in the paragraph but think that you are writing in the bullet points so the originality of thought and the connection with the contemporary examples are very very important because it will give the message to the examiner that you are reading newspaper you are a well aware aspirant that is why the most important thing to read the newspaper the most important thing here always use keywords because if you are using keywords you are able to explain a lot of things in just one or two words and no need to further explain on that particular thing because suppose you are uh, writing one keyword then unnecessary elaboration can be curtailed that is why the keywords plays an important role in fetching the marks or uh, generally examiners are searching for the keywords if you are having suppose 10 marks question then if you are writing 10 to 12 keywords then obviously you'll get good marks so try to focus on keywords because using keywords will save your word in the word limit Another important thing is that whenever possible use flowcharts, use diagrams, use figures uh, and if in the question there is no demand of that particular thing then obviously you cannot make but whenever there is a possibility you can make flowchart, the pie diagram you can do this, you can draw the map of India as well and apart from this the graphical representation in economics is plays an important role so that is why whenever possible try to make the graph small graph and that too with the pencil not with the pen now if you come across very easy question easy question like what is your opinion about the implementation of mgnreg that is manrega that is very easy question a straightforward question then the answer writing becomes very difficult very tricky because no other answer you can say that this is wrong or this is correct it depends on the number of evidences number of facts number of figures number of we can say keywords that you are able to give so if they are asking the like assumption of actual role in theory that is very easy because easy to write obviously the question is difficult because you have to write all the assumptions but assumptions are same for all the candidates i hope you understand my idea here assumptions are same but the major difference in the Manrega answer was the opinion based. So here you cannot say that the person A is writing well or person B is writing wrong. All the, all the answers are relatively good or bad. So that is why answer writing becomes a challenge. So try to give a lot of facts, figures, evidences and especially the keywords. Now this is the last point at the end whenever you are writing conclusion your conclusion must be optimistic because at the end after reading the conclusion examiner will give the marks so that is the important thing to understand the psychology of the examiner and from the examiner's point of view you can understand you are finishing on the high note or the optimistic note and that is very important to fetch the more marks in the same answers now another thing that I would like to conclude in the last about this lecture that whenever you are writing answers of 200 words try to restrict your answer in 180 words because it is written not more than 200 so try to write 20 words less in each and every answer so that you will be able to complete the paper completion of the paper is very important 
uh, we can say for the impression that you will give towards the examination because it will give that you can complete your task whatever it is given in the stipulated time period so if you are getting 20 questions in three hours it means approximately you have to uh, write one answer into nine minutes so try to write answers in the weekly test or the test series try to write or restrict yourself within writing nine minutes answer for 200 words so it depends and try to write in the question come answer booklet so that the same booklet you will find in the examination so you will not feel anything new in the examination hall